Before we begin today's video, I have an important announcement to make. Me and my team have curated 50 plus best SOPs to study at top universities in US, UK, Canada, Ireland, New Zealand, Australia and more. All you have to do is go to the pinned comments or the description box for the link to download them and it's totally free of cost. So go check it out. Now let's begin today's video. Business analytics as a field has grown immensely in the last few years and today it stands as one of the top choices for students from India. Just to give you an idea, jobs in this field are projected to grow 35% between 2019 and 2029 as per US Bureau of Labor Statistics. In India, this is projected to grow by 14% year on year and that's the reason business analytics is today possibly the best option there is. Hey guys, my name is Shivang and I'm an incoming Masters in Business Analytics student at University College Dublin. I studied Bachelors in Computer Science and Engineering from Manipal University, Jaipur and post that I worked as a business analyst for two years. When I decided to pursue a Masters, Business Analytics was an obvious choice. In this video, I will be deconstructing some factors which can help you decide on whether you should be pursuing a Masters in Business Analytics from India or abroad. I will share the story from my personal research when I was contemplating on pursuing a business analytics master's program. Before discussing the factors in detail, let's address what is most important and that is the best institutions to pursue a business analytics course. Having been in the field of analytics for over two years now and done extensive research on institutions, countries and graduate employability, I believe I can be resourceful. Business analytics is a booming subject over the last few years. In India, PGDBA, which is Postgraduate Diploma in Business Analytics, is the only two-year full-time program jointly offered by ISI, IIT Kharagpur and IIM Calcutta and should definitely be considered. Other BA programs in India are not worthwhile to be honest. Now let's move west starting with France, Ireland, UK and then the United States. If we look at France, HEC Paris, ESSEC and ESCP should definitely be on your target list. As far as Ireland is concerned, UCD Michael Smurfett Graduate Business School and Trinity Business School should catch your eye. The UK has Imperial, Manchester and Warwick. And there are quite a few in the US as well with the likes of MIT Sloan, UCLA Anderson, USC Marshall, UT Dallas and Texas McCombs. In this video, we are not going to touch upon fees, scholarships, study permit and the usual. I will be doing a four-point comparison on whether you should pursue a Masters in Business Analytics in India or abroad. Let us dive straight in. First is Course Structure. One of the most frequently asked questions is whether they can pursue a MSBA with a non-technical background. Well, to put it simply, you definitely can. I would not deny the fact that tech guys do have an edge, but the void can easily be filled by doing online certifications or by working on self-paced industry-aligned projects. People fear not being able to cope up with the course modules. I really don't think there's anything to worry about. There are students from various backgrounds, finance, architecture, economics, engineering, to name a few, and also with varied work experiences. Now, the best part of pursuing a MSBA from the United States or France is that the courses are two years long and there is a lot of program flexibility or customization on offer. When you look at Ireland and the UK, they usually offer 12 month programs. Second is practical application and tools. Universities abroad give a lot of emphasis to real world use cases and practical learning. While theory is important, it is much more important to do hands-on. SQL, Excel, Power BI, Python is what one should look to master. It might feel intimidating in the initial few days, especially for non-tech guys or people who don't have industry experience. But you just need to be at it and you will be fine. Apart from this, the art of storytelling is paramount, being able to present your findings or insights to stakeholders. After all, if you want people to make the right decisions with data, you have to get in their heads in a way they understand. Throughout human history, the way to do that has been with stories. Practical learning, I believe, is very personal, and I feel it's totally up to the individual. If I were to select on the basis of practical application and tools, I would be willing to pursue it from a foreign university. Why? Since there is a lot of emphasis on hands-on. I would not have to spend a lot of time mugging up, and I can work on group projects, assignments, presentations, which constitute 65-70% to 70 of the course. Third is internship experience. It is only in India that you find campus placements and universities fixing interviews for you. The culture is completely different when you move abroad for higher studies anywhere around the globe. They have career fairs, industry visits, seminars, guest lectures, company-sponsored data challenges, which are an opportunity for you to discuss the roles on offer and be ready with an elevator pitch. It's basically networking, networking and networking. It's kind of a D-Day and you should really be prepared to nail it down. Apart from on-campus events, there are various other ways of landing an internship through LinkedIn, Indeed, Glassdoor, etc. 
you just need to land yourself that one interview which can help your career take flight also pre placement offers work at both places you can pursue a 6 month internship in india and then be offered a full time role at the same organization same is true for most of the other countries as well but i would still rate universities abroad a notch higher than their indian counterparts when it comes to internship experience mainly because of the international exposure one gets final factor is return on investment The ROI of pursuing a PG DBA, which is jointly offered by ISI, IIT Kharagpur, and IIM Calcutta, is pretty good. B grads, on an average, make 12 to 15 lakh rupees with two to three years of work experience. As far as the West is concerned, let's start with Ireland. Tuition fees for a business analytics program at UCD would cost close to 22 lakh rupees. Graduates, on an average, make anywhere between 32,000 to 45,000 euros, roughly equivalent to 29 to 40 lakh rupees, which again means that recovery is pretty solid. Moreover, most multinationals have their EMEA headquarters in Ireland, which means a lot of business decisions are taken from this country, with ample job opportunities for international students. UK's Imperial, Manchester, and Warwick also have an excellent employment track record. It might take some time to find a job in case you are a recent graduate and don't have work experience under your belt, but you can expect recovery in three to four years as far as the UK is concerned. If you move further west that is towards the US you can again expect to pay off your loans within 2 to 3 years. In India you will spend considerably less on living and the course structure is pretty similar to western universities. But do note that there will be a lack of hands-on approach with most work opportunities concentrated in metro towns such as Bangalore, Bombay and Delhi. Also the challenge with doing it from India is that there is just one program which is actually worth it. If you look abroad there are over 30 plus universities which not only rank globally but provide a holistic experience the likes of UCD Trinity SSEC HEC Paris ESCP Imperial Manchester Warwick UT Dallas MIT Sloan UCLA Anderson USC Marshall and Texas McCombs to name a few course flexibility practical curriculum global rankings international exposure are some of the benefits of studying business analytics from outside of india be it ireland uk france or america